Coming up on MHS One. We say goodbye to a senior English teacher. We send relief to Nepal. And we conclude the final Chase chess piece. And it's all coming up on MHS One. Good morning, McKinney High School. Today is Friday, May 29th. I'm Sarah Appleby. And I'm Christian Schneider, and you're watching MHS One. Students at McKinney High School are attempting to send disaster relief to Nepal in the wake of the massive earthquakes there. Here's Taryn, Savannah, and Emily with more. Recently in the small country of Nepal, tragedy has struck. Well, in Nepal there was a 7.8 earthquake. It devastated a lot of cultural heritage from my, uh, my past, and I guess a lot of people there are dead. I mean, they are dead. And they're in the hospital right now, a lot of people are homeless. These people spend their lives trying to build their homes and acquire all the things that they need to live. And within such a short amount of time, this earthquake just completely destroyed everything. Key Club members have taken interest in fundraising for Nepal. Some of our members, um, Anamesh and Sweta, actually came to us and asked us if we could um, fundraise for Nepal and so we were planning to um, over the summer organize a walkathon sort of like um, fundraiser for people to uh, pledge money and um, people would be able to earn money just by walking around a track depending on how many laps that they do. Our projected date for the walkathon would be sometime maybe towards the end of the summer. Here's how students can help raise money. Students will be able to um, be aware about like what we're coming up with to raise money for Nepal. Um, just through social media is probably our first way that we were going to try to contact people. And um, we also have like donation boxes in the front office and probably make posters around the school when we come back from um, summer. This has been Savannah Ayers, Taryn Kennedy, and Emily Perales reporting for MHS One. As summer approaches, many students are searching for jobs. Here's Aiden, Christian, and Sydney with a look at lifeguarding. With summer fast approaching, many students have taken up lifeguarding for the city of McKinney. McKinney Aquatics, we offer swim lessons and we also have open swim times where we are open to the public throughout the entire summer from Memorial Day to Labor Day and we follow Red Cross regulations with lifeguards. I lifeguard here and what I do is I scan the water, make sure there's no kids running, make sure everything's um, going, everybody's being safe and doing what they're supposed to following the pool rules. This is one of our pools, JMAC. It has a deep end and a diving board. Our other pool is Old Set and there's a water slide and then there's the senior pool attached to the senior center. Unlike other jobs, lifeguards require training to prepare them for whatever the job may throw at them. Walk. I wouldn't change anything about the training the lifeguards go through. It's it's pretty tough and they learn all the saves and then we have in-service once a week so that keeps them fresh. Uh, in-service is we come to it to practice skills for an hour. It can be uh, sharp whenever the time needs uh, rescue. We definitely have a lot more in-service here and people are a lot harder but that just makes us better workers and makes us better lifeguards than if we were just working at the country club or at lifetime. While on the job, lifeguards experience a wide range of scenarios. I think the weirdest one is we had somebody jump in for two different kids at one time and then three seconds later we had somebody else jump in. We had a guy go off the diving board back there and go completely unresponsive and our lifeguard had to jump off and save him in the deep end. I think this job can be easy but it also can be stressful. You don't just sit out here and get tan and check out the girls, it's actually, you actually have to put in work. Yeah, we have to deal with some really serious situations. We do have people who need to get saved. We do have to provide CPR. We do have to deal with, you know, broken arms and things like that. But we know how to relax at the end of the day. Lifeguarding requires a unique type of person. Uh, we mostly look for people with great personalities and are uh, willing to act when the time arises. So pretty much a McKinney High student. Um, Boyd's okay, but not North. If you're looking for a job, Come apply here in the summer because it's really fun. This is my third summer working here and it's one of the best jobs ever. The application process is go to McKinneyTexas.org and go to HR and make sure uh, you go to the aquatics department and just fill in the application, they'll let you know. This has been Sydney Turbo, Christian Schneider, and Aiden Mulligan reporting for MHS One. So where is the missile going? I 
I feel like they can't say it out loud. Like I would just be confirming my own failure. You know, maybe the world would be better off if I just never became a sportscaster. Could you imagine? Don't think about that, Chase. Things would be way worse without you. I mean, sure we wouldn't be in this mess, but uh, we'd be in plenty more messes. We wouldn't have you here to help clean them up. Oh, well, I want to thank everyone for your time and, uh, see ya. I know what you're going to say, so save your breath. No, I don't have anything to say. But I want to tell you something I've kept to myself all these years. Back in the day, I used to manage more people than just yourself. One of the guys I'd managed had come down with a nasty illness. Looked up to me and said, Bear, always worried about leaving a legacy, never about a successor. But that Chase Chesapeake, now there is a guy who might just be able to fill my shoes. That man's name was Walter Cronkite. Walter Cronkite said that? I'll never forget the last thing he said to me. He said, Bear, sometime when the news crew is up against it and the brakes are beating the boys, tell Chase to get out there and give it all he's got and win just one for the Cronker. I don't know where I'll be then, he said. But I know it won't smell too good, that's for sure. Thanks, Barry. I don't know what I'd do without you. Now excuse me. I've got a school to save. Jeff, I have an idea. Hey Sarah, do you have any pets? Yeah, two cats. Well, there's someone here that has quite the unusual pet. Here's Kylie and Chelsea with the story. Some people have dogs, some people have cats. Sophomore Brittany Bruce has a 117 pound pig. This is my pig, Batman, and we've had him for, I think, three Christmases now. And he's a Korean pot belly pig. So my dad has a history, like a, he went to college for animal science. And so his boss wanted a pig, so he got him to pick it out. And then the boss didn't want it anymore, so he just gave it to us for free. He, as a little baby, he was litter box trained. And now he's too big for that, so he just, he just like waits by the door until he gets let out. He generally eats pig feed, and he likes carrots and frozen vegetables as treats. We don't really bathe it. My dad just sometimes sprays it down with a hose. <laughs> if he gets muddy. <laughs> he gets along with the other pets well because we have lots of other pets except for the Dotson. Because they've always fight over food. So they don't really like each other. And he freaks out a lot. He's really scared of him. So that's kind of funny. It's very stressful because he gets like really sensitive and he'll like start squealing all the time if you mess with him too much. He's more of a drama queen than Brittany. Yeah. <laughs> this has been Kylie Tauber and Chelsea Villarreal reporting for MHS1. Now here's Grant with sports. Thanks Sarah. Congratulations to two track team members that went to state competition. Junior Ricky Fanchoy won second jumping 48 feet and 8 inches in the triple jump, while freshman Bailey Lear won third in the 400 meter dash in 56 seconds. Now here's Chris Garcia with a sports rundown. Hey, my name is Chris Garcia. I'm Kyle McKelvey. And this is Sports Rundown. Let's go. The Rangers have been on a tear lately. Do you think it'll last? Well, Prince Fielder has the hottest bat right now. Nine home runs this month alone. Uh, they're still six and a half games back. We've got teams like the Mariners and the Angels in this division. I don't know. Uh, winner and loser of the NFL offseason. Loser, Cowboys, where's DeMarco? Winner, uh, the Bucks drafted James Winston in the draft. Great pickup, gonna be a great QB. Tom Thibodeau just got fired from the Bulls. What do you think about that? Uh, foolish, honestly. Uh, if I'm the Magic and Pelicans right now, I'm trying to get him to be my next coach. Uh, I can see him and Anthony Davis being a pair. Uh, NBA draft. 
Who's your favorite? Uh, well, Jahil Okafor, first overall. Great footwork, great hands. He's going to be a great big man. And Emmanuel Moutier coming over from China. Not a lot of people know about him because he was over there, but he's going to be a great point guard. Maybe going to the Knicks, so that's what they need. I'll take it. NBA Finals. Cavs or Warriors, who you got? Uh, right now, I got Warriors going in two, then Cavs taking the rest. Uh, there you go. I'll, you? I got Warriors. Uh, it's time. I don't know. It's been 40 years. Thanks for watching Sports Rundown. See you guys. Congratulations to all of our sports teams and their accomplishments. That's all for sports this year. Now back to you. Thanks, Grant. As we say goodbye to Dr. Ferris, someone new will be taking his place. Here's Eli and Sarah with more on the story. This past Tuesday, Mr. Gordon Butler was named the new principal of McKinney High for next year. Um, I think the most exciting thing is to get to come back home. I feel like McKinney High School is home for me and to come full circle and to be with next year's seniors knowing that I started with them as freshmen and I kind of get to finish something that I was a part of starting and that's just exciting to me. He's familiar with the school. Um, he's familiar with many of the, um, the teachers and uh, staff members here. Um, he kind of knows how, how the school works, how it runs, and um, I think it'll make for a, a really good transition. I think everybody goes into administration hoping to be a building principal, but sometimes along your career you just let go of certain goals, and so when this opportunity came up, I thought, why not me? And then just the reality of it never set in until uh, Tuesday night's board meeting when they called my name, and that I just that was a good feeling. I move that we approve Mr. Gordon Butler as the next principal of the McKinney High School. Mr. Butler was my principal sophomore year, and the thing I loved about him was that you could go to him for anything, and he would always be happy to help you out and find a solution to everything. Two years ago, Mr. Butler spent one year as an MHS assistant principal. It, we missed him. It was a good, it was a good step for him, but um, yeah, we definitely missed him. We missed being able to tease him, give him a hard time, have his uh, funny sense of humor around. This has been Sarah Appleby and Eli J. Reporting for MHS One. Richardson. No political parties. How could you do this? How could you let this happen? It's been a pleasure updating you sporty viewers over all these years, but I'm afraid it's time to go. Goodbye, sports fans. You gotta get out of here! You gotta get me out of here. I don't care where, just go. You He saved us. Not because he needed to, but because he wanted to. He is a hero, an icon. He is the pride of the McKinney Lions. You know, I, I never got my money back. I should really clean the gutters out, it's Halloween. He is our protector and the architect of the future of McKinney High School. Because we did build this city, but the road to success is always under construction. After 18 years of teaching English at McKinney High School, Miss Dolly Smith is retiring. Here's Patrick and Lily with more.
McKinney High School was honored to have Miss Smith and Miss Mitchell as teachers, but their time here has sadly come to an end. I've been teaching at McKinney High for nine years, and I taught a total of um, 30 years with one year leave of absence. One of the reasons that I decided to retire is because recently my ceramic industry has really taken off. I teach at home, and I am an art practicing artist, and I'm having a hard time keeping up with working full time and trying to do those other activities. The thing that I'm going to miss the most is the students and the calm environment here at McKinney High. I worked at McKinney High for 18 years. I started in the fall of 97. The first five years I worked here, I taught sophomores. The beginning of my sixth year here and got moved up to teaching seniors. So for two years, I got to teach as seniors, the kids that I had had as sophomores. And it was so much fun to see the change in them. I like it when kids come back from college and they come to visit me and they tell me that you taught me how to read a book. You taught me how to study. You, you, you made me want to go to school. Some of them even come back and say, you made me want to be a teacher. This has been Patrick Duran and Lily Shee reporting for MHS One. As a freshman, did you ever wonder what seniors would have done differently through the course of high school? Here's Kenzie and Arouge with more. I would definitely tell myself to study harder and start looking at colleges I want to go to. Uh, I would definitely tell myself to actually try your freshman year because it's really important later on with your GPA in college. If I could go back to freshman year, I would tell myself to listen to my mom more because it would have kept me out of a lot of trouble. I would tell my freshman self to watch what you post on social media because it will come back and get you. Give 100% of the effort 100% of the time. Not to hang out with any of the people I do now because it got me in nothing but trouble. I would tell my freshman self to try and graduate early because once you become a senior, you're really going to hate high school. I would tell my freshman self not to skip as much school. Um, I would probably tell my freshman self to study harder and actually turn in my homework. Uh, something I tell my freshman self is to choose your friends wisely because they're going to determine what you do and where you're at. And if you choose the wrong friends, you might end up in the wrong places. Have as much fun as possible because it's, it's been the best four years I've had in my life. That's all we have for you this year, McKinney High School. For more news, visit MainstreamNews.com. And remember, if it's news, and it's at McKinney High School, it's, it's MHS, MHS 1. Thank you.